The Fragment Hal nudged the steering oar gently and swung onto a diagonal course away from the coast, heading to the left, away from Hallisholm. Heron rose and fell smoothly under his feet as the swell rolled under her keel. The other boys had settled into a smooth rowing rhythm, one they could maintain for hours if necessary, and he exulted in the feeling of being underway at the helm of his own ship. Stig glanced up at him from his rowing bench. How does she handle? he asked. Hal grinned back at him. Like a bird. Macfarlane gently placed the fragment of parchment on the surface of his desk. The other nine stories found in the trunk had been carefully assembled, copied and preserved. Now this was all that was left. A tattered fragment with a few words written on it. Barely a hundred words. In places, the ink was so faint that he could barely decipher it. He had left this one till last, partly because it was incomplete and partly because, after his quick inspection, he sensed that this was something different. Using a long pair of tweezers, he moved the page until it was underneath his magnifying lens. Then he leaned forward and peered at the words, his lips moving soundlessly as he read them, hesitating when he reached the fainter sections and grateful for the strong light and the magnification. Finally, he sat back, drumming his fingers on the table. Audrey was sitting opposite him in a fever of anticipation. As she had been the one to uncover the trunk, he thought it was only fair that she should be here when he finally transcribed this, the final piece. What is it, Professor? she asked. Is it important? There was no need for the second question, she thought. His expression and body language told her that it was. He looked at her. Yes, Audrey, as a matter of fact, it is. She waited, knowing that he would elaborate. After some seconds had passed, he continued. For some time now, those of us who have studied the world of Araluen and its heroes have been aware of another legend from that time. It's a legend of a young boy, half Araluen and half Scandian, who revolutionised the design of the Scandians' wolf ships. But we've known little about him. Audrey frowned thoughtfully. I think I recall a brief mention of him in the Chronicle of Will's journey to Nihon Jar, she said thoughtfully, and the professor smiled at her. Precisely. But aside from that one fleeting reference, we've known nothing else about him. Now, it seems, we might have discovered a further clue to his story. This fragment, she said, nodding towards the tattered page on the desk between them. This fragment, he said, nodding. And if there is one page, there must have been others. And perhaps they still exist somewhere. Her eyes widened in excitement. Do you think we could find the rest of his story, Professor? She asked. He smiled indulgently at her, enjoying her youth and her enthusiasm. Well, I certainly plan to try, he said. You have been listening to Ranger's Apprentice, Book 11, The Lost Stories, read by Australian Audiobooks. For more books from John Flanagan, make sure you subscribe to this channel. See you next time.